Hi, so I did something yesterday. Uh, I did a little install of doing a sea decking on my uh, kayak. Uh, I bought this uh, Stroke brand of kayak. It's a Federal Drive kayak. It's a, more of a, a cruising kayak, but it, it does have some fishing uh, capabilities to it. So it's a really good uh, platform to get out there on the water with uh, minimal gear and uh, put, a, put a line in the water. I also did a review on that same kayak uh, two days ago. I'm going to try to upload and edit the video for that. But I just want to kind of show you uh, what I did uh, to the kayak and uh, give you an overview and maybe a little hint on how maybe to install these same uh, sea decks uh, on your own kayak. You can buy the uh, materials on Amazon and uh, you can basically do this yourself. I, I did this yesterday, uh, hanging out in the garage, you know, drinking a few drinks. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, had a good time doing it. And here's what I got. See all those nice lines? Nice straight cut lines. It almost looks like you could have bought this kit from the store. And it came out really good. What do you guys think? All the way up to the front. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay, so the items that you're going to need are uh, an X-Acto knife and some press and seal glad wrap in order to do the cutouts that you need for your kayak. These are the items that I chose. I'll leave a description down below or a link to them where I uh, purchased them if you need to, to get some. Um, hope this helps you out. Look at that, nice design right there. I just basically freehand it all the way around to come around this way. And what's really cool about this is all I gotta do is once I cut this piece out, is flip it over and I have the exact match on the other side. You see here, I've drawn it out on one side for my uh, pattern that I want. And I flipped it over so that I can make the other side. See there? Drew it out. And if you're wondering what all this black stuff is here, um, what I was trying to do is... Uh, <laughs> cut corner so what I did was I took a can of spray paint and I spray paint the uh, the actual pattern just like that over it it does work but it's just a little bit messier uh, so if you're trying to do it if you're doing it outside uh, that's actually a really good way of doing it you don't even have to worry about drawing it or anything you just place it on where you want it spray it take it off and then it leaves your pattern because uh, that's how I cut this pattern out and yeah it works but this is the more tedious way of doing it, uh, and it's more what I recommend doing. Your next part is uh, your next part is you just take your exacto knife. Uh, I actually lost the other piece to this. I got another one coming. It should be here in the mail today. Uh, but I didn't want to waste time making my video, so I wanted to get this out to you guys. So now all we're going to do is we're just going to cut these right around, all the way across. All the way down, all the way around. I haven't placed them on yet, but you can see here what we got going on. I got two pieces ready to go down. The 
pack and seal stuff that I use, the shrink wrap actually works even on curved edges. It's really cool to do that. Watch, I'm going to do this piece right here just to show you. Now you can see that it's ready to cut out. You just continue on drawing all your patterns up, cutting them out, putting them on. There we go. Starting to cut it out. As you can see too, I've actually utilized a lot of the C decking that I purchased. And I still have room for other parts if I want to make more. You can even do even designs like that where I'm just going to put just a piece like that on there. In conclusion, this was a very cool install. I enjoyed it very much and I'm glad that I at least get a, a couple videos uh, to give you guys some ideas and maybe you could come up with your own. Uh, one thing that I will tell you that I made a mistake on um, is when you lay your sea decking on the ground upside down to cut out your patterns, uh, you may want to be aware of the uh, way that the patterns go. This one I got has a 3D like, I'm not sure if you can see that here, see the little diamonds here. Well, if you notice, when you come to the first couple ones, they go the other way. The pattern goes the other way. Uh, the reason why that happened was because when I cut out the seed deck and got towards the bottom, I started having to move the bigger piece, uh, like this one here. You can see this piece right here. The uh, diamonds kind of go at an angle this way to the right side of the kayak if you're looking at it this way. Uh, and those were cut later uh, when I started running out, out of sea decking. So, <clears throat> you know, make, keep that in mind when you buy the, the roll. Uh, <clears throat> what I purchased, I'll leave down in the description below. Uh, if your kayak is bigger than 12 foot or is wider, you're gonna do a lot more pieces. Uh, you may wanna go to a, a little bit longer one. Uh, total cost, I think this me for all the sea decking uh, was about 80 bucks, I think. And that was for the whole roll. Uh, I don't remember offhand because I want to do the little uh, click down below to, so you could go to Amazon and try to buy it yourself. You could choose whatever color pattern you want. I think I might get a little bit of a, a kickback from that. I don't know. I uh, just started out doing that kind of stuff, so not really worried about that too much. I just wanted you guys to be able to get those uh, those pieces that you need to do the same install I did if you choose to do so. Like I said, just you know, be be you know aware of the pattern and which way the pattern is going. Take time in cutting your patterns out. Also, too, if you notice when I cut, like say this piece right here, for for example, or when I cut this piece out. Because of this curve right here, uh, I'm cutting it upside down. So when I make my pattern, I've got to turn my pattern upside down to create the proper side. Or if they're duplicate, I can keep it the same and then just make another one later. But just remember that if it's a straight pattern like, like say this, 
that I'm cutting out. Now that's pretty easy. That's one cut, cut it out, it'll fit. Uh, but if you're cutting out like this piece, this piece, when I put the pattern inside of here, uh, I have to take the pattern out and then flip it upside down when I put it down onto the uh, C-decking because the C-decking upside down. So uh, kind of be prepared, you know, prepared for that when you do those kind of cuts. Um, the other thing is after you're done, everything's not going to be perfect. I noticed when I looked out here today when I was looking at my lines uh, right here, my line had a little bit of a curve right here coming outwards whereas if you look on this side it didn't it has a curve that almost goes inward so as i went back over it and inspected it i just went through and and made my uh cut right here a little bit more narrow uh so that it would be symmetrical on both sides all right so i uh, hope you like the video hope you guys like the video uh, like and subscribe. I'm going to add some more videos like this uh, in, the in the future, probably on some different kayaks, maybe some of the same brand. Uh, I have a young man that wants me to do some videos for him, and hopefully uh, we can get together and get some of these things done so that I can make videos for you guys. Uh, thank you again, and uh, see you out on the water.